In this video, I will present the Laplace mechanism whose crucial property is that it is differentially private. The basic idea of the Laplace mechanism is that when you are asked to reveal a statistics S of X about a database X, adding a random noise Z to the statistics will make it differentially private. The full theorem asserts that if the noise Z is a Laplacian noise with parameter B equals to delta S divided by epsilon, then the database query is guaranteed to be epsilon differentially private. Okay, but what's delta S and what's a Laplacian noise of parameter B? We'll get to delta S later on. For now, let's focus on this Laplacian noise. This noise is a random variable whose probability density function looks like this. So the formal equation of this curve is f of z equals to 1 divided by 2b times the exponential of minus absolute value of z divided by b. In other words, this curve decreases exponentially both on the left and on the right, and if we only had one part of it, it would have been the exponential law. What's important to keep in mind is that first, this curve is perfectly centered around zero, so that in expectation, the Laplace mechanism yields the right result. Also, the variance of the distribution can easily be derived from the parameter b, as we have sigma squared equals to 2b squared. In other words, b is of the same order of magnitude as the standard deviation of the distribution. This means in particular that if your statistics is, say, the number of people who answered yes to a query in the database, and if the people in the database is a random sample of the population, then we know that the error due to polling is going to be of the order of square root of n, where n is the number of people who answered yes. And this means that we would not really decrease the reliability of the poll by adding a noise that is of the order of square root of n, which means that we can take b of the order of square root of n without affecting accuracy. Since b is equal to delta s divided by epsilon, this means that we can fix epsilon to be of the order of delta s divided by the square root of n, i.e. we can compute an essentially accurate pole with delta s divided by square root of n differential privacy. Now, what is delta s? It is the maximal variation of the statistics s between neighbor databases, i.e. delta s is the maximum of the distance between s of x and s of y when the L1 norm of x minus y is equal to 1. In particular, if s counts the number of entries satisfying some property p, then adding or removing one entry will only increment or decrement s by at most 1. Thus, delta s is equal to 1. In such a case, we can obtain an essentially accurate pole of 1 over square root of n differential privacy, which is pretty good. Now, our basic Laplace mechanism here can actually be generalized to the multidimensional case. Say you want to return several statistics, i.e. s of x is now a vector in Rk. Then the Laplace mechanism now consists of adding independent Laplace noises to all components, i.e. m of x is equal to s1 of x plus z1, s2 of x plus z2, and so on, and here sk of x plus zk, where the zk or iid random variables drawn from a Laplace distribution with parameter b equals to delta s divided by epsilon. Now, delta s has to be redefined here because we are in a multidimensional case, but it will still be the largest variation of s between neighbor databases. Now, for some reasons I'll let you think about, it is useful to consider the L1 norm over R to power k, i.e. we're going to define delta s to be the maximum of the L1 norm between s of x and s of y, i.e. it is the maximum of the sum of the distance between si of x and si of y, when x and y are a distance at most 1. Well, guess what? This multidimensional Laplace mechanism is still epsilon differentially private. In particular, an important special case of the multidimensional Laplace mechanism is histogram queries. Importantly, the addition or the removal of one entry only adds or removes one to only one column of the histogram. As a result, we still have delta s equals to 1, even though s is multidimensional. Thus, 
histogram queries can be made epsilon differentially private by adding Laplace noises to each column of parameters 1 over epsilon. And we shall prove the differential privacy of Laplace mechanisms in a future video.